Hi, this is Tim. And this is Queen. And this is Andy. And today we're going to talk about how to make a basic DC motor. And more importantly for my electrical folks out there, how it relates to Fleming's electrical right hand rule. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to like this video and turn on post notifications. And click all. Please. One thing about this experiment compared to the previous ones we've done is one, we are actually using a chemical battery here that produces current. And as these wires are touching each other, they are heating up. So these wires are getting hot. So please be careful out there. Also control guys, make sure that you actually concentrate on this video because this is gonna lead up into our next one where we actually talk about how transformers work. So for our experiment, we're using the same batteries that we have been using. We have a trusty holder for our video, that's unnecessary. A basic AA magnet. And we're just gonna stick it on there like that. And then we're gonna get a piece of copper wire. And some fairly small copper wire works best. And what you wanna do is you wanna fold that wire in half, like so. Where do wire strippers go? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> and then you want to pinch this really sharply. This seems to be the secret trick to make most of them work well or make any shape work well because the shape's kind of the fun part. You know, we talk about stem, but this is that A artistic element of steam that we're going to do a little bit of in this video. But to start with, what you want to do, you want to stick this so it's just sticking out of your finger and then fold both wires over just like that. So you have a half a heart. And actually, it's a little long. So we want a half a heart about like that. And then fold it out. So now you have a full heart. And then you're gonna eyeball it. We wanna be the length from the top of this to about midway down our battery. That's gonna be about here. I'm gonna cut the ends of these off. Then I'm gonna give Michael his trusty holder back. Now, when we lay it down on here, then it's gonna start spinning. So it's touching this magnet down here, completing our circuit around the battery and it will start rotating. Now, how does this work? The battery and the magnet work together and then it starts spinning the cracker. Oh, right. Why does it start spinning? There's a magnetic field. Yeah, okay, good job. We do have a magnetic field. So all the way around this magnet, it is creating a magnetic field external to this from north coming around to south. So we have a magnetic field and we have current flow. It like pushes the copper. Well, it does. And okay, we learned a little bit about this in our eddy current experiment. As the magnetic field is moving by a piece of copper, that it's gonna displace the electrons. Well, the opposite is also true because they're all tied together. If you have current and you have a magnetic field, then it'll create the force part of that equation. Wendell has made this very lovely diagram to explain what is going on here. And this is Fleming's right hand rule. And for it, you fold these two fingers back. You bring this finger out away from your hand. You're pointing that direction and your thumbs up that direction. And this says that if we have current flowing this direction and we have a magnetic field in that direction, we will have motion in this direction. And similarly with our eddy current experiment, if we had motion and we also had a magnetic field, then we're gonna create this current. So these three things are tied together and this is gonna be very important in our upcoming transformer video. So in this case, we have current flowing downwards. So looking at Wendell's diagram, current is down and we have a magnetic field pointing outwards from our magnet that way and that is going to cause it to turn in this direction. So looking at her other pretty diagram that she has made, here is kind of a close up of it. Here is our magnet down here. North is up, south is down, and we have bent this piece of wire around it. And that's gonna give us the current flow from the top to the bottom. 
And then we have our magnetic field coming out in this direction. This is like a game of twister, but so current is downwards. The magnetic field is pointing out this direction, which means that we have a force going backwards. And then the same thing on the other side, if I can get this right, get my fingers in the right direction. So current is still pointing down. Our magnetic field is out that direction. And so that means that our force is this way. So on this side, the force is going out of our paper. And on this side, our force is going into the paper. And that is gonna make a twisting motion. And that is what you are seeing right here. This heart shape is the easiest one to do. I guess we should have done this for Valentine's Day. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Will somebody remember, remind me Valentine's Day next year to do something really neat with this? But what I was getting at, rabbit trail. Um, you don't have to use a heart. So we also have, so here is an M, or it could be a square. I don't know which one you call it. And so it does it. It's mainly that the top and the bottom are touching. What else do you have? Wendell has one here, maybe. Oh yeah, so this one also works really good. So you see we made a twist midway up in it. And we have one at the bottom, which kind of captures it. And then we have this hook at the top for it to touch. And this one is another one that does really good. In fact, it can probably, well, no, it can't go sideways. But it works really well also. What okay. about my heart? Okay, let's see how Wendell's heart works. I'm nervous. Yes. There you go. So, Wendell's heart works. It's <laughs> And then, you know, sometimes they are kind of crazy. Let's see, where did the dancing guy go? Um, um, here we go. So this was our dancing guy. I don't know if he was doing the floss or what he was he doing. Was doing twist. He was doing the twist. But let's he see, there he know. goes. He's, yeah, he just kind of <laughs> randomly, whoop, starts bouncing around and he just jumped off. So I, I hope you're liking this series. We're trying to take a smidget of science and a smidget of fun and turn it into a good learning experience for the kids. Make sure to subscribe to Window and I's channel, Queen and Andy. Put in the comments any experiment ideas you have for us so then we can try it out. Till next time. See ya. Queen and Andy saves the day. Wait, why is it hot? Because current's flowing through it. What happens when current flows through a wire? It becomes hot. Well, you just did the equation the other day. Does that look like a W? more than a flower. You think that's a flower? Yeah. Okay, well here's mommy's flower. There we go, look at him, he's dancing. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. I wonder if I can make one do the floss. Daddy, that's cheating. That's a pretty good deal there. But daddy, that's cheating. The hell is that cheating? Because we're having contests, you're supposed to stay the longest. <laughs> well, that's not cheating. Wait, <laughs> mine is staying on the longest, too. Ow! What? It's... It's hot? Yes. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.